repeatedly attacking the same woman is back behind bars again. This time, the Mobile County Sheriff's Office says he was trying to intimidate his victim to keep her from testifying against him in court. We've been tracking this suspect since June of last year. Fox News anchor Letitia Bush joins us now in the studio with this new information. Letitia? Deputies say Trent Stokely was supposed to be in court this morning for a preliminary hearing on domestic violence charges. His alleged victim was going to be there too. But yesterday, deputies say Stokely, who was out on bond, paid his alleged victim a visit and it turned ugly. Trent Stokely is smiling in his mugshot, but he may not have much to smile about soon. Authorities say he violated his bond after he attacked his ex-girlfriend Sunday, gave her a black eye and bruises. Mobile County Sergeant Joe Mahoney says Stokely wanted to keep his alleged victim quiet. The case is from a June of 2013 domestic violence charge. Essentially, the allegations were that he strangled or choked the victim in this case and physically prevented her from being able to leave the residence to seek help. Stokely was charged again Sunday for domestic violence. It's the fourth time in one year he's facing this charge. Each time, investigators say it involves the same woman. When Stokely was arrested in February, the alleged victim told Fox 10 News her story. Starting at 4 o'clock in the morning, he went into a rage. Woke me up out of his sleep, snatched me out of the bed, proceeded to punch me, choke me, tell me I was going to die. A few days later, Stokely's stepdad defended him and blamed the woman. She comes in here and she wants to, to so called say that he beat her. He ain't put his damn hands on her. The district attorney's office is trying to revoke Stokely's bond so he will stay in jail while the case moves forward in court. You may remember Stokely was let out of jail on bond through a clerical error back in February. Right now, though, he's still in Metro Jail.